Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tying Seabass Streamers. Um, today we tie a little fiber streamer for night fishing on um, Seabass. And we tie it on a Kamakatsu F314 hook and uh, a thread we're using a Vivas 100 GSP, though it doesn't really matter much. Um, however, what's the main focus here? Because this is not a saltwater hook, we try to keep the um, the fly as cheap as possible from money point of view. So we're using high quality material and high quality hooks, but we just looked a little bit out how to get it as cheap as possible, or let's say as affordable. Um, and therefore we tie it with big streamer fiber. Uh, we tie it in uh, black and shatteries, as big streamer fiber is um, probably as far as I know, the, the cheapest or the most affordable fiber on the market so far. And um, so we cut two strings in full lengths, one in black, one in chartreuse, as these are the ones where we need. And what's also important that we tie here a pattern for the night. And um, when you fish in the night, it's always good to have a, a dark silhouette um, or like a black streamer because then the uh, streamer is even darker than the sky and when the fish looks up it actually can see the silhouette so we're using black for the for the um, belly and then chartreuse a little bit UV active color on top of it um, for the belly section you take the full length cut it in half lay one side half aside and cut the other half in quarters. These quarters you lay aside as well. And then you take the chartreuse for the back and you cut it in a 60 40, something like that, or 65 35, and just lay it aside. We start to tie with the belly color, just tape it a little bit, not too much. And we tie it in like that, and then we have like two or three centimeters of the fiber sticking out in the rear. So we have it rather short. Um, because we have it short, it um, makes it possible for us to lay our material on top of it. It's a bit stiffer, it's a bit shorter, and uh, provide the material from tangling or uh, tailing into the hook. So we tie quite a bit to the front now. Um, as the F314 has a little bit longer shank than the other hooks I'm usually using for seabass, that's no problem. Let me fold it back, tie it down, and uh, if you want, you can tie a little bit of uh, flesh material in it. I uh, think some Angelina fiber or angel hair lying here in front of me, and I uh, can just tie it in like that if you want to have a little bit of flesh in it and then you can just brush it in with a usual cat brush or a dog brush or whatever it is. Next step is we tie in our chartreuse for the back. We just tape it a bit as well and tie it in a little bit longer than the tail before. Just a few loose wraps. And then we take a quarter of the black that we taper and tie it on the back, uh, on the belly. Then we move the thread all the way back to uh, the last thread end. Check how much space we got on the hook left. Move it a little bit forward. So you don't have too much space on the hook left. And then we fold the material back. First the chartreuse. Catch it as one, two turns. Turn the fly. Always make at least two turns because if you turn the fly, it depends on which uh, direction you tie, but you can always unwind half a turn again. And then if you only do one, the fibers fall back again, of course. So we turn that back. Tighten the material a bit. Just do a few thread wraps in front. Just give it a little brush. Like that. 
Now's already the last step. Just tie in the chartreuse. Really easy fly. Just like that. And we take the black, tape it a bit again as the quarters are a bit shorter. I just tie it down. Tighten it, and then we move our thread back, uh, our material back, just like that. Spare, spare it, um, flare it a bit with the thumb. Give it two reps. Turn the fly. Two reps on the other side. Turn the fly again, and then we can. Tighten it and make a knot into it. I'm going to make two knots as I don't put any glue on the thread. Um, so I have so much space here, just soak the material right in front of it with a little bit of glue. If I get the glue open. Just a little bit of glue on the nose here, and then that's done. And what we do then is uh, the cutting, of course, and um, I just explain it shortly how to cut it, and then uh, I put on the eyes. So, what you do is you take this one out of the vise, grab it like that, and you brush it just in fiber direction on both sides to get a really flat body like that. And then you take your scissors and I hope you can see that you cut it in a V shape. So you go from the tail um, up to here where the uh, point of the scissors is and on the same, uh, same thing on the other side you go up and just passing the hook gap here. So that's the first cut. Take a long scissor here, just makes it easier. And that's the second cut, and then we have our V shape. And now, with the, you can see that with the hook bend, I just like to cut it free. And then we just angle the edge a bit. Cut so many of that, so I just know how to hold and can just go cutting it. And then we try to cut the remaining fibers behind the hook edge just into the shape. Like we wanted to round up the edges a bit. Really easy tying, really easy cutting. Sea bass flies have to be simple, that's the main thing. that up a bit and then we do the same on the other side just go in a 45 degree angle up and just flare the material a little bit into the tail section so just look natural as I said before here yeah, these flies are based on um, on value so we try to keep it as affordable as possible um, therefore we use the F3 and 14 which is a little bit longer from the shank that we can't tie the head that dense with the three steps of tying a fiber streamer but we still have a a good streamer at the end which we can definitely fish and we just need to put some eyes on it um, if you use a shorter hook then use the uh, for example the Gamakatsu um, SC15 2.0 of the SL12S also mustard has a few nice hooks um, but of course they are then salt water hooks and they are definitely more expensive. Um, so we just put a little bit of glue here in between um, just because that's where we put the eyes on and to um, make sure 
let the eyes stay in this position and are just not attached to the material but also to the uh, hook shank or the base. Um, we just put a little bit of um, glue in between, not much. Um, it looks a little bit weird in the beginning but it keeps us this point where we use the cage wheel tool and burn the fibers so our glue is reaching the hook point. Um, And I prefer that because when you use the cage retour and you're not watching out for a second you can destroy your whole work that you just tied before and that would be a shame. And glue you have anyway and the cage retour you would need to buy for around I think 35 euros or something like that. So we just press the eyes on and um, Just get everything in position like that, put the eye to on and uh, let them dry for a second. See you in a bit. So the eyes dry now. Just to check everything. Maybe make a few adjustments with the scissors. Not much to do here. That and we have a really successful little bait fish for sea bass. Enjoy tying it. <laughs>